Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb telling you about biotoxin part five. How do I get rid of biotoxins? See, this is the dilemma. 30% of us have immune systems that can't see biotoxins. Mold is the most egregious example, but there's quite a few others that seem to do this. Multiple insect stings, for example, black widow bites, uh, fisteria, which is a dinoflagellate that got it all started, and probably Lyme disease. So you could argue that there's a lot of Lyme around too. All of these illnesses make a biotoxin that around some percentage of the of the population can't see it. So the biotoxin gets inside you, probably through your lungs most of the time, maybe through your nose, breathing up and up top of your nose. And once it's inside you, it sets off your innate immune system. Uh, the mold uh, toxins probably are the most common, but they get they set off your innate system, which is like pulling the the 911 alarm or the fire alarm, but nobody knows where it is. Nobody knows where the fire is. Your adaptive immune system, your precise immune system that comes on later that's in higher mammals can't see it. Because of that, the mold or the biotoxin circulates through your body. Your liver sees it and says, let's get rid of it, puts it into your bile. Your bile empties into your small bowel and goes down into your colon where your body simply reabsorbs it extremely efficiently, very effectively, but you don't get rid of any of it. Back up to your brain, back down to your liver, into your colon, back up to your brain, back down to your liver, into your colon, and around and round and round you go. Merry ground number one. And this is prob this can go on endlessly. In my own practice, I've seen multiple people who've been sick for four or five years after they've been out of the environment that got them sick. So this can go on for a long time. How do you get rid of it? Did you get the detail of that merry-go-round? While it's in your gut, you can take a binding agent. And here we come up with cholestyramine. Dr. Rishi Shoemaker had the wherewithal and the brains and the insight and the persistence to see it when he saw his first patient with cholestyramine that he had treated for diarrhea, which is really the only other use for cholestyramine. And they got better from a biotoxin illness. That was the beginning of the whole story. Cholestyramine is a wonderful binding agent. Now, it can make you a little bit constipated, so it does have some side effects. Nine grams a day of cholestyramine, four times a day for a month, will bind the, cholest will bind the biotoxin and get it out of you. Now, you can go to lower dose. It takes longer. You can use Wellcall if the cholestyramine makes you too constipated, another binding agent called Wellcall, and that'll take two or three months. But typically you'll get better, oftentimes within just a week or two, if you're no longer in a dangerous environment. So of course, we can never keep up if you're living in a bad, dangerous place still. Working in a dangerous place, living in a dangerous place. But if you're in a safe place, you can get rid of the toxin in a month. Did you get that? Biotoxin illness can be cleaned up from the biotoxin in a month. The problem is the biotoxin, while it was in you, might have wreaked a lot of havoc that's going to take some cleaning up. We're going to get to that in weeks ahead. But for now, cholestyramine, nine grams, four times a day, one month, you're fixed. This is kind of cool. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about Biotoxin Illness Part 5, How to Get Rid of Biotoxin.